How is Unitech for graduate diploma in professional accounting? There are some issues with Unitech. Uh, it's not a, uh, today, this is the uh, era of open information. Everything is at our fingertips. You start that and then you go into, you know, good old Google um, and everything will be there. So whoever is watching can go and put Unitech financial problems at there will probably be 30 or 40, um, <clears throat> uh, you know, uh, uh, articles that will come up about it. My take on it, uh, I think every uh, organization, especially a large organization like Unitech, because it is a very large organization, uh, will uh, have some issues at some point or the other. We are not a big company, HIV, like I said, we are 40 people that hope to, hope to grow to become 100 or 200. Or we'll see how that goes. But... Uh, we have our own little issues sometimes, so we kind of, you know, trying our best to keep it stable. And so, and Unitech is owned and operated by the government of New Zealand. And Unitech is one of our largest institutes of technology. Plus, bear in mind that New Zealand, uh, you know, is not a deficit budget com, uh, country. We are a surplus budget com, uh, country. So we always have some money lying in the bank, you know, for a rainy day kind of a situation. And I don't think the government would, the Ministry of Education would allow um, and large, well-established organization like Unitech to go under because it's uh, cannot be they simply cannot afford to do it uh, because it's one of our largest institutions. And uh, it, Unitech doesn't serve uh, uh, un international students primarily. Unitech primarily serves our domestic students. And you know uh, uh, there are certain uh, subjects, of course, which I think are chosen by uh, international students, but. Uh, Unitech also has got a lot of trades, you know, automotive, uh, architecture, those, you know, those technical kind of skills, which is required for our local students here in New Zealand. So uh, it's a very large uh, organization. It's a very large institution. It's got obviously got some recent issues, but I mean, if you Google a lot of other uh, institutions in New Zealand would have some problem or the other if you put some university name or some other ITP name. Recently, for instance, you know, the local uh, Institute of Technology here in uh, Hamilton called WinTech, you know, it had some management issues. So again, if you go to Google and put it. So my take on it is that these uh, organizations are so large and also because the final responsibility lies with the government of New Zealand. And so the government of New Zealand cannot lose face uh, or cannot afford uh, such a large organization to go under either for our domestic students or for international students like this. So I don't think you should be worried about the larger uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, picture uh, uh, and focus more on your uh, thing. And like I said, uh, if you come to New Zealand through a, a company like AJB, uh, and this is not just for uh, Unitech, but for any institution anywhere across New Zealand, if one of our students who has come to New Zealand through HIV gets into any trouble because of some fault of the institution, I promise you, myself and my entire local team here will go to that institution, stand and fight for you guys.